So today we are going to discuss about web scraping. Web scraping is an important tool and it is used for Tor app to download the web content from the Googles. Like nowadays we are using for the search engine optimization and different purposes. Like usually the search engine will need to search the different websites what the user is going to be content. So based on this, according to VT in fifth semester we have a syllabus for it. So we will see one example how to download the web page and we have to convert it to normal text file and we will search further information. For that, according to several of us, model 5 we have project mat.py with the web browser mode. Using this one, we are going to implement downloading the file from the web with the request mode. So that, first we have to open, today we are using the notepad Jupyter for this performation. So first open your notepad Jupyter. In notepad Jupyter, take new Python new and select Python 3. And title page will be open. You can also rename it. So I will use web scrap one. So I rename the one file. So we have already installed the packages. Then if you click, it will come to new line. If your packages are not installed, then open, come to Jupyter. In there, there is an option called as you selected Python file for the text editor. You can also select for terminal. Click on the terminal. If you not install, just install. Term once you open the terminal, this type of page will open. Just paste there this content. PIP install user request. Because I already requested. If you not install, install it. Directly it will download from the end. We have already installed. Next, I will take a variable as a res in the Python. Then we are using the request method. So, request method is used to get the HTTP response from any website. So, we are identifying here the file is there inside. We are using the rg.txt. So, I am referring the one website in there. The test book is written according to your syllabus from the test book. I am identifying. So, the text is written as rj.txt then run it so the this information is available the link is correct so next now we have typed the res means it will identify the what is the response we are getting from the server so that the request dot model dot response has been identified so that from the request what you meant it is got the response now we are identifying how to check the status of the response what we got so we are written Rs dot status underscore code equal to request code dot ok what the request we have made get the status we are getting so the status is code means the connection is as well request and response is already taken that's why we got the output true now we'll identify what is the length of the text so we are using the RJ text how to identify the length of the any web page or text so length in bracket we are taken Rs dot text so it will display the length of the text so this much of length for the given text so this is the text is available in the particular website as we are referring the test book so i want to print the name of the author of the test book so that we are written print res dot text res dot text means this is a text txt file that we are using so it will print up to 250 characters from the starting so, so that it will display the author name. So, I will run it. So, it will display the project author name. So, which we are referring in the link. These are the author. This is a book we are referring. Suppose if your URL for the text web page like Romeo and Juliet is a book we are using referring. So, that we can check the attributes similarly like initial status code, OK, HTTP protocol or some other example also you can take wikipedia http status code status code will check the whether it is available or not so same thing you can search that is available here how many character is there what we use print r is dot to display the first 250 characters suppose if the whichever the user is going to make a request on the web Page, suppose the page is not available or user, user has been deleted how to identify whether the page is available or not for that we are using the code request rs request so we are using 
some HTTP link and the page that does not exist. We are checking. So we have co copied this link and we are pasting in our now I'll paste this code. And once again I will run it. Once I run, I want to identify the status of this one. To check the status, we are using RS already we are given the link RS dot rise underscore for underscore status. So it will tell the status of the link which we have provided. So as before that I told that whichever I link given is it does not exist in the particular site. Then this type of error will get client error not found for URL. So this is the invalid URL we are given. Suppose this content is available in the internet only then only to show if it is not available this type of message will get. This can be identified by using rise for the status. This type of code we may also use another type method like writing the programs how to use. Suppose if you write this program say import request rs equal to request dot get http and try rs dot rise for the status exception handling we are using exception as execution there was a problem what are the problem we are getting you can also identify this so we will run that code so we got an error there was a problem for not for client error not found for the URL. so here in above we have directly discussed but even though you can write a single and writing the code separate line or you can write an entire program entire code can mean one block here I written an entire code so this is a checking the status of the program that is rise for the status as again the question arise once we have downloaded the file we have converted into text file and where to save that content so saving the document file to the hard drive as in your syllabus they are mentioned the file should be saved to the hard drive how to write the hard drive so that we are using the two methods here one is open function that will open the particular link and write method something will write inside the link then we are using the write binary mode for passing the string to the web and open and as we are already downloaded the one plain text as we are using rj.txt then in that we are using identification so that to write the web page to the file we are writing the web page to the file you can also use the for loop with the response object so why we are using the for loop because the number of information can be arranged as again i am using import request res equal to request dot what we have previously taken rj dot text and again i am checking for the status as already we know that this, this link is true there is no error we got then we have taken a variable play file equal to open open romeo and julia dot txt web once you open we have as i told you if the number of pages should be accessible from the web so we have to use the for loop so that we are using for check in res dot iter dot content this much of information whether it is available or not we are checking if the what the contents are written is available then it should give the true then it will display the information what is the length of the string so on then how many text contents are there once it over there afterwards you can close the file if the link is correct and the informations are correct then it will not give any type of errors when you are running on the note jupyter notebook as you can see itr content method returns the checks to the content of the each iteration through the loop so each time when you are using the bytes data and how many bytes are available that will be identified and 100,000 bytes is generally for the good size so passes we are passing this as a content as an argument to the ITR content so as we are using the file Remo, Romeo and Juliet text we will now exist in the current working directory so that the file name can be easily accessible on the we are using the write method that will return the number of bytes written to the file in in the previous example as we have taken 10 1 lakh bytes and 78,982 needed for the file in terms of bytes to review this the above process downloading and saving the file so first we have used the call request get get to download the file then call open with web to create a new file into the right binary mode and then we are using the loop over the response dot object that is itr content method then we have used call write on each iteration to write the content to the file lastly we are using the 
close method so we have covered the this much of information in this video like we have how to use a map ftp with the web browser and downloading the file from the web with the request method saving the file into the hard disk and html